Hey everyone, it's me Gaurav and welcome to the channel. Well, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded my last video, but finally I'm here and today I have something really great for you guys. So um, this is not a tutorial video, but more of something that I thought I might share with you guys. Some of you may already know about this site or maybe not, but anyways, if you do know about any other site similar to this one, make sure you put it in the comment sections that my, that will be uh, really helpful to both me as well as the other viewers. So um, without any further delay, let's jump straight into the video. Um, here we are in my browser and here you can see the site is called StorySet. So it's one of site from Freepik. So if you guys don't know what Freepik is, it's basically a website where you can download icons, stock videos, footages and mockups all for free. So it has everything. But if you um, check out over here, you can see this option called more tools. So when you click it, there will be a drop down option from there. Select story set. As soon as you click it, the same window will pop up. So here, as you can see, there's a bunch of different illustrations you can download it and use it in your website or in your videos or any anywhere you want so they have all these different styles as you can see this one is more um, like flat this one is focused more on uh, i can see a lot of strokes here and they also do have this it is different five style so this one is more like a 3d pr perspective look and this, this other two so you can choose anything you want according to the project you are working on and <coughs> I, I will change it to all now if you scroll down you can see this color option so the best part about this website is this um this color picker over here you can change the color once and the color you will put it it will be visible to all the illustrations on the website you can also edit uh, the hex value here which is this blue color for all of my videos for my youtube and my brand identity so this is really cool you don't have to download it and edit it again on your illustrator or any other vector editing program so this that that is really cool and we also have this uh, option to change the background as far as our preference so as you can see uh, this grays background behind every illustrations so so it was set uh, into detailed as default but you have the option to choose whether you want more detailed version more simple version or nothing at all so that's that's really great as well and um, that's that's it so uh, let me choose one of this illustration from here um, let's say okay i will i will go with this one so here again you can see the same option we saw earlier so um here you can change the colors and also we have this the, the background option and we also have uh, the um, layers as you can see there's this cursor and the character right now and okay let's no i, I will leave it like this since we already changed the color earlier so um, now you can download this illustration as an SVG image and you can further edit it in your um, Adobe Illustrator or any other vector editing software or you can download it as a PNG image. So it's just your preference what you need this illustration for. But what I'm gonna do is tap on this animate button and this will open up this uh, another new window so here we can animate this character okay so um we have this options called colors where we can change the color of course and we have the elements so basically what it means that the whole illustration has been uh, grouped into three different layers first we have the cursor second we have the character with this subscribe board in his arms and lastly the background all right so we can animate them separately 
okay let's try um, clicking on this randomize button so when you click it it will apply a random animation to each glare as you can see on the left side we have uh, the type of animation that has been applied to each layer so um, which is really great if you uh, don't really uh, like if you don't have any preference what kind of motion you want so um, but uh, we will be adding some changes to it okay let's go with the characters so as you can see uh, the slide down uh, animation has been applied to the character so you, you can play with uh, this play button over the top right corner okay so now let's change uh, the background okay so for the background i will be applying uh, the fading animation i guess but, but before that let's let's uh, animate the cursor so i want the cursor to slide up as soon as the animation plays smooth right okay now for the background i will be adding uh, the fade in so as soon as you hit it uh, you can see the fade in option you can also change the easing and also the duration of the animation um, before it will appear com um, completely on the screen all right and we have this option called animate children you, you see that difference right as soon as you uh, turn on that animate children option all the other components within that group the background group will start animating one after the other you see so which is really good all right okay um now we have done everything for uh, the first animations but who, uh, since we will be exporting it as a gif image so we want some kind of animation that will keep playing throughout the entire time which will be if i'm not wrong will be infinitely right so we have this option called looping so we can um, add the type of looping animation we want for each element okay so for uh, the background i will go with uh, this floating loop animation although you can um, choose anything you want from these five options here okay now that we have applied the floating uh, loop animations now we have the options uh, for how much longer each cycle should take place so by default it is set to 1.5 seconds but you can change it up to 6 seconds i mean 1.5 3 seconds and 6 seconds and you can also add a bit of delay now with this for the same uh, with the character i will add the same floating loop animation and also if you look closely you can see that the background and the character is moving at the same time which is kind of you know not really looks great but we can add a bit of offset by applying a delay so i've applied a delay of 0.5 seconds so now as you can see it's moving different in different times okay now with the same with uh, for the cursor we will add the floating animation and again we will add a bit of delay since it's moving with uh, the same time with the background right so we can for this we can add a negative 0.5 we add positive 0.5 for the character and negative 0.5 for the cursor and for the background it's zero all right so there you go now you can click on this export option and from here as you can see if you want this uh, illustration this animated gif for your website or for your landing page say so you can easily copy and paste this SVG and CSS code to your text editor you also get the preview of how it will appear in your mobile devices and on your desktop PC but what we want is this um, animation right over here okay but before that we have to choose uh, one of the options from here either an entrance animation or a looping one all right um, so we have already done both the animations previously so we can choose any one of them but i will show you the difference since i have already exported uh, the looping one i will go with the entrance one okay and we also have uh, the option to change the background and the size of uh, the gif okay so we have uh, the option to either export it as a footage video footage which will be in mp4 format or the gif image which is what we are looking for so i will click this one and this will take a while not long okay so here we go let me save it 
okay um let me drag it in the browser now and as you can see the gif is not playing that's because we selected uh, the entrance option while exporting but i've already exported the another one which was the looping option so now as you can see it's moving since we have uh, chosen the looping animation while exporting so this is actually what we wanted and i hope you really like this video and if you do make sure you subscribe the video and also put your comments in the comment sections till then i will see you in the next video